You're listening to Neurodivergent Mom Life, Unfiltered and Unstoppable, where we embrace the chaos, celebrate neurodiversity, and empower moms like you to thrive in motherhood. In this episode, we're flipping the script on what it means to be a neurodivergent parent. It's so easy to focus on the struggle, but today we're celebrating the unexpected perks that come with it. From creative problem solving to unique ways of connecting with our kids, being a neurodivergent parent has its own set of superpowers. Join me as we explore these hidden strengths and how they make us unstoppable. In this episode, we're going to go beyond the meltdowns and look at some of the unexpected perks of being a neurodivergent parent. So remember that time you transformed your living room into a multi-level port complete with a pulley system for snack delivery and a glow-in-the-dark constellation map on the ceiling? Maybe you just did that in your mind, like me. Or how about the time you saved the day during a homework meltdown by turning fractions into a rap battle? Yes, that wasn't just your average mom ingenuity at play. That was your neurodivergent brain firing on all cylinders, creating magic out of the mundane. And you know what? That's just a glimpse of the unexpected parenting superpowers that come with being wired a little bit differently. Sure, I might lose my keys more often than a forgetful squirrel, and my to-do list might look like abstract art. But guess what? My hyper-focus turns me into a crafting ninja. My out-of-the-box thinking leads to epic adventures, and my emotional intensity helps me connect with my kids on a much deeper level. So, yeah, being neurodivergent can be a challenge. It can be exhausting, frustrating, and sometimes just downright overwhelming. But it can also be a source of incredible strength, creativity, and resilience. It's a superpower most of the time, disguised as a struggle waiting to be unleashed. So let's dive into some of the unexpected benefits of being a neurodivergent parent. Now we're going to get a little bit deeper into how this neurodivergent wiring can transform us into parenting ninjas. Black belts and bedtime routines and stack time negotiations, anyone? Let's talk about that hyper-focus. Have you ever spent hours researching the perfect slime recipe or building an epic Lego creation with your child? That's not just dedication. That's hyper-focus in action. This laser-like focus can help you tackle complex parenting tasks, from researching IEPs to mastering the art of Minecraft. You're out of the box thinking? Who needs a traditional bedtime story when you can invent an intergalactic adventure starring your child as the fearless captain? Neurodivergent brains are wired for creativity and innovation, which means we can turn everyday routines into extraordinary experiences. And that emotional intensity? Yeah, we might feel things more deeply than others, but that also means we can connect with our children on a profound emotional level. We understand their big feelings, validate their experiences, and offer unwavering support. And those special interests? Are you obsessed with dinosaurs too? Maybe you know every lyric to Hamilton? Those special interests aren't just hobbies. They're a treasure trove of knowledge and passion that we can share with our children. And the social awkwardness. Small talk might not be our forte, but we excel at deep, meaningful conversations. We ask thought-provoking questions, listen intently to our children's answers, and create a safe space for them to express their thoughts and feelings. The truth is, our neurodivergent traits aren't just quirks. They're superpowers in disguise. They allow us to see the world through a different lens, connect with our children in unique ways, and create a parenting style that is truly our own. So the next time you find yourself doubting your abilities, remember the time you transformed a cardboard box into a spaceship or turned a math lesson into a musical masterpiece. Remember the laughter, the joy, and the deep connection you share with your child. Those moments are proof that your neurodivergent brain isn't a burden. It's a gift. Embrace it, celebrate it, and let it guide you on this incredible journey of parenthood. And yeah, maybe our brains might be a little bit extra. But that extra is what makes our parenting style so unique and effective. Neurodiversity isn't just about challenges. It's about seeing the world through a kaleidoscope of possibilities. Ever found yourself using a sock puppet to explain emotional regulation? Or turned backyard into a dinosaur dig to make learning fun? That's not just quirky parenting at work. That's also the neurodivergent advantage in action. And here's to have more ways that our out-of-the-box thinking can revolutionize our parenting game. Discipline with a twist. Forget about traditional timeouts. We're all about sensory breaks, movement activities, and creative solutions that address the root of the problem. 
not just the behavior. We go on epic learning adventures because who needs textbooks when you can turn your kitchen into a science lab or your living room into a theater stage? We embrace these hands-on learning, gamification, and alternative education methods that spark curiosity and ignite a lifelong love of learning. Those intense emotions aren't just a weakness, they're a superpower. We empathize deeply with our children's struggles, validate their feelings, and create a safe space for them to express themselves authentically. And when we're faced with a meltdown in aisle five of the grocery store, no problem. We're quick on our feet, adaptable, and always ready with a plan B, and C, and D. And finally, we want to start building a neurodiverse-friendly home that embraces our quirks. We need to create this home that celebrates neurodiversity, and it's like building a cozy hobbit hole. It's all about comfort, acceptance, and a little bit of magic. We want to create sensory-friendly spaces, so designated quiet zones create with calming sensory bins, and maybe invest in a pair of noise-canceling headphones or two. Those small adjustments can make a big difference in reducing overwhelm and promote relaxation. Number two, we want to embrace the flexible routines. Ditch the rigid schedules when and where you can and embrace a more flexible approach to daily life. Allow for breaks, downtime, and plenty of opportunities for movement and sensory input. Look at alternative learning styles. Forget about traditional worksheets and lectures. Explore handouts on activities, educational games, and online resources that cater to different learning styles. And of course, celebrate the differences. Encourage your child and yourself to embrace their unique neurodivergent traits. Talk openly about challenges, celebrate successes, and foster a sense of pride in your different is not less brains. So just remember, a neurodiverse friendly home isn't just about accommodating differences. It's about celebrating them. It's about creating a space where everyone feels safe, understood, and empowered to be their authentic selves. So this neurodivergent bond is a force more powerful than the force. In a world that often values conformity, our shared neurodiversity is a beacon of individuality and strength. We might not always get each other, but we get each other on a level that few others can. We're the moms who understand the meltdown triggered by a scratchy tag or the overwhelm of a crowded room. We're the daughters who see our mom's quirks, not as flaws, but as badges of honor. We're the families who celebrate our weirdness with dance parties, impromptu puppet shows, and late-night conversations about the meaning of life. This shared understanding, this deep connection, is a gift. It's a force that binds us together, a source of comfort and strength in a world that can sometimes feel overwhelming. When we embrace our neurodivergence, we not only unlock our own potential, but we also create a space for our children to thrive. We teach them that different is not less, that quirks are cool, and that the most extraordinary adventures are found off the beaten path. So let's raise a glass or a juice box, depending on the time of the day, to our neurodivergent families. Maybe we, may we always celebrate our differences, embrace our quirks, and find strength in our shared journey. Because when it comes to parenting, being a little weird might just be the secret to raising happy, healthy, and wonderfully unique kids. And that, my friends, is a superpower worth celebrating. So to all the neurodivergent moms out there who sometimes feel like they're navigating a maze with a broken compass, remember this, you're not alone. You're part of a vibrant community of parents who are rewriting the rules of parenthood one quirky, creative, and chaotic day at a time. Your neurodivergent brain isn't a glitch in the system. It's a superpower waiting to be unleashed. Embrace your unique strengths, celebrate your differences, and never stop looking at the extraordinary in the ordinary. And remember. As the wise Mrs. Weasley might say, it's not about being perfect, dears. It's about being you. Hey, are you loving this podcast? Your feedback means the world to me. If you're finding value in the episode, please take a moment to leave a review. If you haven't already, make sure to to subscribe to the Neurodivergent Mom Life podcast. Every week, we're diving into the realities of raising neurodivergent kids while embracing our own unique paths. Don't miss out. Subscribe now and join our community of unstoppable moms.